and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel you guys today I'm going to be sharing with you my travel bag my travel essentials when it comes to the carry-on because we are actually going away in a couple of days and it has been a long time coming with everything that has been happening I usually travel quite a bit and I'm on the go all the time either I'm visiting my family or I'm on a trip or holiday or work and we are getting on a plane and I thought that it's time to refresh the video about the travel bag and my carry-on first of all of course let's talk about the bag I always take quite a big bag with me uh, I very rarely travel with a carry-on only. So I am that person who certainly overpacks. Unless it's a weekend away, I will always take a suitcase with me. Now I try to pack in outfits. So if you guys actually wanted to see, I could probably make a video after I come back of what outfits I have packed and how I packed and why. So if that's something you would want to see, let me know in the comment section below. This is what I have at the moment and this is my kind of recent uh, one of my recent uh, purchases that I got for that reason, I got this for two reasons. One is to travel with and two to go to the gym with or if I'm spending a day teaching and then going around town, this is the bag that I will take because it's the most functional bag I own. This one is very simple and I like it. It's it's a really lovely like light pink shade um, but not like in your face kind of pink and that's why I went for the pink. They also do this backpack in black but this is how it looks at the front. So you have a zip pocket here then you have handles that you can actually clip together or you can carry it like that as well as an actual bag and then it's got two compartments from the top one the main compartment with this really cool uh, big zip and then one compartment here where I actually put my laptop because it's perfect it just slides all the way on the back so and you can adjust the straps obviously but I just find this whole uh, kind of system that they have going on really handy and then there are two pockets on each side of the bag where you can put a water bottle or something that you you know you can reach straight away so the bag is from a company called Bag Smart. Uh, they do a few different bags like this. They do holders, they do totes. I really think that I even got 20% off uh, of the purchases. So I'm going to look for it. And if I have a code, I'm going to put it in the description box um, alongside the link if you guys want to check it out. Okay, so let's get into this Narnia pocket that has absolutely my whole life in it right now. And I've got a few plastic containers like this. So a little Ziploc. So let's start with this little one. Uh, this is not my toiletries one. So this one uh, is not where I keep my liquids. So it doesn't actually have to be transparent, but you can kind of see what's inside. So I've got a tiny, teeny, weeny, mini hairbrush because it's handy and it doesn't take a lot of space. So that's coming with me. Then I've got a tiny little clip for my hair because I like to put my hair up. Uh, I get so annoyed with my hair like when it's getting into my face and I'm trying to eat or drink I have to put my hair up then I've got a box of my earplugs so I always sleep with earplugs unfortunately I have this habit that I've had for a very long time and now find it very difficult to sleep without them but also if I'm trying to have a nap on the plane these are just saviors lifesavers and this is the brand that I prefer the most out of the ones that I have tried and it's called Blocks. Um, I kind of order them from a French pharmacy. They're the softest ones that I have ever tried. If somebody has recommendation for good earplugs, please let me know. And then the last thing I have here is some floss. Um, so it's just dental floss, um, just in case you wanna clean your teeth on a plane. And then I've got the pouch with the toiletries. So the one with the toiletries, so I have this plastic zip bag that is a reusable bag, which I much, much prefer using than the ones that they hand you at the airport. The problem is, and this is so bizarre, but Manchester Airport is pretty much the only airport that will not let you use these bags. And I really question them. I don't understand why they have to do that because this is transparent. You can see everything through it. It's the size of a normal bag. You're allowed to have them. But Manchester Airport will make you repack this into a different bag. And sometimes, you know, 
I will get a nice person who doesn't mind and doesn't tell me off and sometimes I don't but I've never encountered that problem anywhere else either way these are really good they kind of have like really good thick zip here so nice it uh, keeps it nice and tight so I've got a little deodorant here this is the Malinguetz Eucalyptus deodorant. It's just a really good size. And again, it's not air spray, which is, um, I prefer that. Um, I've got some wet wipes in here. I've got my little Bird's Bees lip balm. So this is just the one with pomegranate oil. And it's, you know, you have to have a lip balm, of course. Like airplane is such a dry place. Everything gets so dry. So I always have a lip balm with me. Hand sanitizer, of course, hand sanitizer. This was my favorite one for my bag and it's called uh, Morning Glory from Han. And I just find that the packaging is just so genius. It's thin, it's small. Then I've got a face spray. This is the Omaravisa one, uh, Queen of Hungary Mist. And it's such a fine, beautiful, a beautiful mist it smells nice it's refreshing and I love using it on the plane even though it's in a glass bottle I don't mind that because I really love the product and I just find that it's kind of wakes me up refreshes me keeps my skin a little bit more um, moisturized a little bit more hydrated I have got some eye drops I wear contact lenses so my eyes get incredibly dry on the plane especially if I fall asleep if I had like a two minute nap and I wake up, my eyes are a desert. They're a desert. Then I've got Popo Original Balm. And um, this is, can be used on lips, on dry cuticles, on any dry patches, on burns. So I find it really handy to have in. I have got my consequences container here. I have got my toothbrush as well that I lost the little cap for so I need to get it before we go away and then I've also got my pills so any kind of medication I would put here and then I have my kind of holy grail skincare product that I take with me pretty much everywhere that I go now if I especially if I'm staying overnight or even if I go to work if I'm planning to shower after a gym this is what I take now. This is the CBD Super Serum with probiotics. So this has been saving my skin from maskne, which is the acne that you get from wearing a mask. It has been keeping my skin calm, moisturized and just in check. Um, this is from Aurelia. I have been talking about Aurelia for few years now and I love their products and this is one of their latest products so it's a combination of their probiotic concentrate and the CBD serum so this is fantastic for um kind of skin that gets irritated if you suffer from any redness on your cheeks especially um this is amazing but also if you are prone to acne and breakouts they actually use not CBD oil here but CBD crystals and I know that that really is like one of the um first brands to actually do that and of course it's packed with probiotics which um, they kind of do this thing to your skin where it starts repairing yourself or not yourself itself and also it has a hemp uh, seed extract it's just full of antioxidants it has anti-inflammatory properties and it has hyaluronic acid which we all know is that fantastic ingredients that just lock smoke moisture in your skin so for the plane for traveling this is perfect. This is just amazing. And not only for that, I have been using it pretty much every day in my normal skincare routine. So this is coming with me 100% and I take it on the plane because I don't put makeup on in the morning if I'm getting on the plane. I actually don't really put makeup on if I get on the plane full stop. And then I just sometimes go wash my hands and then do a little routine, a bit of deep puffing, a bit of you know patting it in wakes me up um hydrates my skin so honestly can't recommend this enough so i will leave the link to it below as well so when you look in there is a little pocket that zips up um it's just a little mesh one on the side so in here i have got some random things of course i'm the queen of random things like one of my dear subscribers channel will say i am definitely a person who has all sorts of random things like feathers and ribbons and tea of course I have tea I have tea everywhere I go so I carry tea to the plane as well because I don't always like the tea that they serve on the plane so I've got a few tea bags like this I can 
either buy hot water if the airline is being difficult or they can just give me some hot water. Depends how lucky you are and how nice the air hostesses are. So a few hair ties. I've got a pen just in case you need to fill any forms or something like this. Then I've got my little wallet that has my cards and I don't really carry cash because, you know, especially at the moment we're kind of like recommended not to use cash, which I which I find bizarre that, you know, they're trying to make us such a cashless society, but I never used to carry that much cash. Next in here, I have this little pouch, which is a very handy little pouch that has all my electronic cables and chargers. So it's got the adapter for my, um, for all my cables and USB cables. So it actually looks like this. So it's got four USB ports and this, this is the European plug. And then I've got some wires to charge my phone. Okay, let's dig deeper. I have my little mask. So all of my masks kind of come in this little pouches and I try to keep them in these pouches just so they're not collecting dust. But otherwise it's just a fabric uh, little mask that has adjustable straps on the ears. And then it's got a little um, like a metal, a adjuster that you can press into your nose if you want it to fit a little bit tighter. It's from a brand called Jaylee and they do so many different colors. Um, they do silk ones. I have a few silk ones from them and some cotton ones. A few other things here. A snack, of course, uh, a little bar, like an oat bar. I usually take as well a little box of nuts or dried fruit or maybe chopped up fruit. I always have a little snack, but that's obviously fresher. So I make it um, just before we go and then I have a little pouch of protein again this is the same protein that I mentioned before so supernova uh, and that is in case I haven't had a chance to eat so if I am like running from one plane to another planes don't always provide a lot of vegan and vegetarian options um, or they're just like greasy pasta and really bad stale sandwiches so sometimes I just don't end up like having a chance to eat. So this kind of comes to the rescue a little bit. This is full of adaptogens as well. So kind of calms you down and keeps the stress levels uh, a little bit, a little bit lower, which helps a lot when you're traveling. Then I've got a little portable charger here. Then I've got a pair of sunglasses. This is just my pair of aviators from Ray-Ban. I've got, I've had this sunglasses for over seven years now and they are still the pair that I will always put in my suitcase first and I think the last thing that I have here is a book and the book that I have in is the one that I've mentioned on this channel before it's called the body keeps the score this is about trauma and how we hold on to trauma and how it affects our lives and our behavior and our habits in so many different ways uh, affects relationships I totally recommend everybody to read it it's a fantastic book Book. Um, I actually keep going back to some chapters and kind of highlighting certain things um, so that's why I'm taking it with me again but I always have a book with me I definitely prefer reading a paper copy of something than uh, electronic copies and the great thing about this pocket is that it goes all the way underneath the bag so you can actually easily fit a pair of shoes in there and I think that that's perfect especially if you're going in the gym um, it's a perfect little compartment for shoes. So in the pocket itself there's actually another little mesh pocket where you can put some little things otherwise what I've got here is a little scarf. I always take a scarf because I find that a lot of the planes just get ridiculously cold maybe it's just me but I like to have something to wrap myself in. It's very light it doesn't take a lot of space but it does provide a little bit of that layering and warmth. Then I've got two other things here. One is a pack of reusable masks. So I got into the habit of having a few disposable masks with me all the time, regardless of me having my fabric one or not. So I try not to use the disposable masks as much. I have a few fabric ones uh, and reusable ones on the go that I wash only because the amount of masks, this kind of mask that I now see lying on the streets everywhere is absolutely ridiculous. This is like the new new type of pollution that we now got ourselves into. And then I've got this little pouch which is called 
secret pouch. What I've got in this bag is two pairs of underwear and two pairs of socks. And the reason why I get this into my carry-on is in case my suitcase doesn't arrive. Then at least I have clean underwear and I have some clean socks. This is what I've got in that bottom compartment. I have a water bottle in this pocket so it fits really nicely in here but the bottle that I have is from my uh, protein that I actually take and it's called Supernova Living and this bottle keeps drinks hot or cold for a very long time. Uh, it actually comes with like a straw inside and the reason why I like to take a water bottle with me is because pretty much every airport has a drinkable water fountain so you can refill your water bottle instead of buying more plastic bottles. So from there, let's get into the back compartment. So this is the pocket that I have at the back. And like I said, what I've got here is my laptop and it's padded. The, the pocket there is padded. So your laptop is definitely protected. So I've got my laptop in there and I also have a little pouch in this pocket as well. And this pouch is for my jewelry. So the reason why I carry this in my carry-on is because again, in case my suitcase gets lost, in case some unfortunate thing happens to my suitcase, um, these are kind of the precious items that you could just uh, maybe put in something like a little bag or a little box and carry with you instead of, you know, being extremely upset that they have gone missing or your suitcase just never arrived. So it's just a choice that I make to carry a few little, um, I've got a few Tiffany bracelets here and a few rings. And another thing that I am of course taking is a pair of headphones. So I completely forgot to mention that the headphones that I have are from Studio and they can be wireless or they can be wired. And why I like them is because they're super, super, super soft here. And also you can fold them like this so they take very little space. So I love these. These are the ones that I usually travel with. I prefer them to earbuds, especially on the plane because they cancel a little bit of sound, not fully. But yeah, these are definitely coming with. But that, my friends, is my travel bag. Nothing else is left in there, but really, really love the bag itself. Just so, so handy to carry everything. And then these are my essentials. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have any questions at all about anything that I showed you, and if you wanted to see the video of me packing for a holiday or making outfits for the holiday, let me know. I'll try to film that as well soon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you all very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! Something fell!